among the stars Oh, let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars Okay. You gotta be in it though. I'm right here. So you're gonna be like, hey guys, you just watch my reels and our, our no. highlights of our thing. We're just gonna tell you about our experience real quick. Hey guys, so today my boyfriend this morning surprised me on a helicopter tour. So I'm sharing the experience with you guys. A helicopter tour of New York City at that. Um, it was open door, super crazy. Cold. Cold for him. <laughs> And like a really enjoyable like once in a lifetime experience. It was our second anniversary today So we're just kind of celebrating in a unique way And I like literally didn't even know we were going until he pulled up to the heliport It honestly wasn't that scary as I like thought it might be. I felt pretty comfortable. They strap you in They have the guys come around with like teaching you how to get out of the straps if there's an emergency and stuff like that um, I felt pretty safe. The pilot seemed like pretty experienced. This place is called Fly N Y O N, so like Fly Nyon. It's like Fly New York on. Um, it's about six people to the helicopter, five in the back, one in the front with the, you know, as the co-pilot here. And as y'all saw, Brianna happened to be the co-pilot for the day. And the difference with that seat is like you don't get any of the wind hitting your face, obviously, because of the windshield. So. Um, you know, we went in April day, so it was a little colder today, but you know, I imagine given the wind there, anybody might be a little bit chilly, even if you were to go in the summer months. We did the 32 minute flight with Fly NYON, um, and you got to see all of, like, all of Central Park, you can see all the way uptown, and he kind of flips through you around the pilot, and you can see literally from midtown all the way down, as far as you can see downtown, so on and so forth. And then you get to see a little bit of Jersey, you get to see all of Queens, you get to see all of Brooklyn. And it was just a really amazing experience there. I don't like flying. I'm not afraid of heights. I just don't like flying because I don't like that dropping feeling in there. And so, you know, being in a helicopter, it really was like, I prefer that over a commercial airplane. It was really smooth um, to me. But yeah, you know, if you're gonna go around this time of the year, just make sure you, you know, wear some gloves and you know, make sure you secure all your belongings there. There was a, you know, a young lady on the on the flight who lost her sunglasses there. And so, you know, just make sure you listen to the instructors when they tell you to make sure you wear your sunglasses a certain way and your hat a certain way, otherwise it's gonna fly off and hopefully it didn't hit nobody down. Um, you could bring like your gimbal or anything like that, but it was a surprise, so I didn't tell Brianna to really bring hers. But yeah. they give you like a, like a selfie stick for each, each like harness, so. Yeah, they give you like a, uh... Like it's, all, it's like a phone harness for you to have, so you can have your phone and everything. It's in groups, first of all. There's like six people per helicopter. Um, so I didn't, I mean, I sat in the front because I was the co-pilot and I was the lightest on the plane. <laughs> so I didn't feel like crowded or anything like that, but I don't know if you had a different experience. Yeah, it definitely was a little crowded and there was not much leg room at all. There was this guy on the plane, he was a pretty tall dude. Um, but yeah, like so we had the doors off and you could stick your leg out and take a photo that way. But it, the, with the winds, it is like you need some really powerful, strong legs. Even if you have really strong legs there, just the wind is so much because you're getting it from all the blades and from the, the winds, you know, being high up. That sticking your foot out there, you, you get it for one shot and then you put it right back in there. Plus, I mean, it's a little weird sticking your foot out of, out of a perfectly walking helicopter. So Yeah, he said, like, the thing is, like, they didn't really give us any type of like training on how to do that like how to put your feet outside the helicopter and for me it was like i felt like that was like a big step for me you know like i felt like there was this whole bottom like there was a like small landing for you to put your feet and i wasn't gonna like sit up on the plane like figure out a way to scoot down and like do that i don't know this felt like a it seems way easier like on the TikToks and on the Instagram reels I see of this experience than like actually being up there. I was like, there's no actual way I'm going to do that right now. Plus he's like tilting the helicopter yeah, like all the way this way, 
or all the way that way to get one side to see and make his turns and stuff and he was like i'll hover here if you guys want to do it and uh, there was no way i was going to do that but super cool experience for sure we couldn't see as much midtown as we would have hoped where like the empire state building is and stuff because like i guess some incident happened three weeks ago not with this company specifically but some helicopter flew too close to a building or something so they said that they're, they've stopped uh going straight through midtown now so we kind of just went around the perimeter of the city and like across central park to be safe so i mean it was cool and we literally saw our street from the helicopter so that was cool as well um, but I think my favorite view is the World Trade Center is so tall and it's crazy that we were like that high. Yeah. Another thing is like the Hudson East River, those rivers are green. They're not, <laughs> they look brown from the water, from the eye level there, but when you get up top, those, those rivers are green, nasty, probably don't ever want to ride in those. But it was cool to see all the shipping come in. We got to go ride around, you were, we were essentially not eye level with Statue of Liberty, but we were pretty, you know, pretty close up right around there, which was really. Yeah, we got close to Statue of Liberty. Really cool. You could see Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, mm -hmm. Governor's Island there. Yeah. Look, you could see Long Island. Mm -hmm. um, or excuse me, Staten Island. Um, and yeah, you get to see all of Jersey City, Hoboken, all those areas there. We flew out from Jersey, by the way. Correct. Yeah, fly out from Jersey. It's about from from the tele heliport to your first sighting of the city. It's about like a three minute ride before you're already seeing views of Manhattan and then you kind of come on the west side of town so you see like the Hudson Yards area, um, Chelsea area, you come in first and then they take you straight up to Central Park and you can see literally how massive Central Park is from Central the air. Central Park is huge, yeah. And you, they, my favorite view was he turned and you can see from Central Park, you can see through the Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, all the way yeah. down to the Freedom Tower, and that was pretty amazing. That was view. cool. On the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge, Williamsburg, Williamsburg Bridge, yeah. Queensboro yeah. Bridge, Queensboro Bridge. I mean, we saw Queens, we saw all the boroughs. Yep. So everything but the Bronx. That's too far, far up north. We pretty much stopped to like where the Upper West Side is. Make sure you get there early, like. Jamal booked it and he's always like a prompt person always on time so I know like it wasn't his fault truly when they say one like your point your flight is at one it means like the flight leaves at one so you have to be there an hour and 15 minutes early or hour and 30 15 minutes hour. hour and 15 minutes early just to make sure that you're doing the training videos like watching the training videos you're getting strapped in you're putting your stuff away you're using the bathroom all that stuff and there's other groups waiting there for your helicopter with you luckily we were able to get on the two o'clock flight but say it's like a super booked day it sounds like some people might have to reschedule if they're late if our thing was at a one o'clock we'd have to be there at like what 11 45 no 11 45 yeah so that's something to like that's a lot <laughs> to, that's way early so like honestly i wish the website would say like be there at 11.45 instead of like be there at 1 because who's going to know that you're supposed to be there out 15 minutes early. But it was still a little bit difficult to kind of get rescheduled, you know, what was happening. But like all in all, like we did, the pilot had high energy, the people that are shopping you and have high energy. Seems like they love their jobs. Um, so it was good, like it was a great experience. But yeah, just make sure you get there early so that way you don't ruin your day. <laughs> and then probably one more like one recommendation just pay the extra money to do like the 30 minute flight. We were just oh, hearing yeah. the 15 minute flight is just too short. Yeah. Um, with time, And you gotta do all the same amount of time commitment. So getting there an hour, 15 minutes early, going through all the training, doing all the harnessing and everything like that. And you do all that for a 15 minute flight. So you might as well just go ahead and book it. You know, if you can afford it and everything like that, just book the extra Yeah, it'll be worth flight. it. Like I felt like, I remember, it was just the right amount of time. When we were like surprised with doing the longer flight because originally we were supposed to do the shorter one, I was like, wow, that's a long time to be up in the air. But when we, once you're up there, I felt like it was short. Like I felt like we weren't up there that long to me personally. What about you? Did nah, you feel it like me, it felt long? like the, especially being kind of cramped back there, it was like the perfect amount of time. Yeah, it was the perfect amount of time. Plus like, I mean, the view is amazing, but I mean, you can only circle around Lower Manhattan yeah midtown so many times before you're like all right we've seen it yeah, and the facility was actually really nice it was modern it was really clean they had furniture for you to wait and sit they had a helicopter literally inside the building for you to check out 
um, and that's where you watch your safety videos and stuff like that. So I don't know, I felt like this facility was nice and like I would definitely want to recommend that company if anybody's trying to do a helicopter tour and doesn't feel sketchy at all. Yeah, they had this one, the one, the best thing about this one is there was like zero incidents of any of anything ever happening with this company compared to some of the other competitors that I had saw. So <laughs> I don't know the other names, but like no crashes, nobody acting crazy, everybody touchdown, safe, no emergency. We had like these headsets on and I thought everybody could hear the pilot. He was talking, like he was talking about the areas and stuff like that, talking, making jokes about like other other helicopters he saw and like, but apparently it was just me. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you in the back, nobody's body language sounded like they were listening to the pilot speak or that we can even hear the pilot speak there. Hopefully I'm not trying to get them in trouble. Um, let's just say that we didn't have the volume up on our headsets there. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened. He was like, oh yeah, that helicopter's from the Air Force. And he was like, there's Governor's Island. He's like, yeah, this is New Jersey. <laughs> like, uh, just pointing out different landmarks in the area. And he'd say like when he was turning to get one side a better look than the other side and stuff like that. So that was good for like photo warnings and stuff. So, um, but yeah, all in all, an amazing experience. Highly recommend it. I felt completely safe. We were strapped in. Um, I don't know, like there's not much you can do when you're in, in the air in general. <laughs> but like, I felt safe for what it was. Even though it was like an open door helicopter, at first I was like, oh, what's this gonna be? But for some reason, I felt good about it today, so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We really loved our experience. It was the best anniversary gift ever. Um, feel free to comment. Tell me if you've done this before. Tell me if you're interested in doing it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more New York things and more home decor and just things about my life and whatever that you want to catch up on. <laughs> All right, bye.